Do you remember the story? Do you remember the story of the black man and the police officer in which the black man didn't die at the end? <laughs> Where the police officer arrived to the vehicle engaging in peace instead of engaging his peace. Do you remember this story? This is the story in which we'll run through all of your news feeds in which they will try to utilize this story to justify the lives in which have been taken from us unjustly. In the midst of that story, I, I can't help but think that my mental train of thought is being derailed by thoughts of Emmett Till, of how his body was found beneath water and then unsunk from that ocean. <sighs> Sorry, that's not the story we're talking about. We're talking about the story of the black man and the police officer and once the black man got killed, I mean, did not get killed. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I just think back to, I think back to Philando Castile, how the police officer claimed that he was coming in peace, but when Philando Castile revealed the fact that he carried a peace, he had to fill that peace officer's peace in. I'm sorry, that's not the story that we're talking about today. We're talking about the story of the police officer and the black man when the black man did not get killed, but what are we doing with the black boy? I mean, we're, we're talking about, we're talking about the black boy, the one who stood at the park playing a game with that fake peace, but instead that peace officer came and shared his peace. And now I know all the things in which his mother feels is not peace. Now she is broken into pieces like a jigsaw, but she'll never be whole again, knowing that her son will never be able to fill that part in her hole again. And I just, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. This isn't the story that I promised you guys. I said that we would talk about the story of the police officer and the black man, when the black man did not die, and the police officer came in peace instead of coming with his peace. And I, I guess I'm not fully remembering the black woman in this story either. The idea that Sandra Bland had a family who will never see her again, that Breonna Taylor's justice got left back, and now it's just us trying to pick up the pieces because at the end of the day, those police officers did not come in peace, but they came in peace. And now I'm here left in pieces. Just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to pick up these pieces and piece myself back together again. I, I'm sorry, I know this isn't the story I promised you all, but it's the only one I got.